Hey guys, this is Jay Harris with Infinity Box, and we're at the 2017 World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois, and I'm standing here with Scott Roth. And Scott, next to you is an amazing piece of engineering work. This is your 1966 Corvette Split Ray, and talk about why we're standing here right now. Uh, so we took a uh, 1966 Corvette, and then we sliced it down the middle in several spots. Uh, then it was widened six and three eighths inches. Uh, the hood's been chopped up in several different places. The center's been stretched forward. Um, all the restyling down the side, the gills have been moved back an inch and a half. Uh, as you come to the back, the rear window has been pulled back two inches. Uh, everything was done to take your eye away from the fact that the car's been wider. Um, so we tried to hide that fact a little bit. Um, and then as you get into the internals a little bit, uh, there's radiators hidden up inside of the fenders air ducts that bring them all the way back in. Those are for the superchargers. Uh, the side pipes are four inch side pipes underneath with a five inch cover. So everything's a little larger just to kind of break your eye off of everything. And it's, you, don't really, you really don't appreciate it you're standing here next to the car. But talk about what this car just won. Uh, this car won a grade eight in Detroit, which was pretty exciting. Uh, we're still coming off of that. That was pretty pretty awesome for us to go there. It was the first, first time uh, that we've been there to, to go for the Riddler and, and win a grade eight. And so. that's, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. So outside of all these amazing things that set this car apart, the paint, the details, and we'll get some, some footage of just every little bit of detail sure. in this car. But let's talk about something that most guys don't talk about. Let's talk about wiring and electrical. So what did you do unique in this car and what helped set this car apart? So the Infinity Box system, which was just mind-blowing on, on what we can do with it, uh, it allowed us to incorporate uh, a new C7 style interior um, and then still have everything work. So a lot of times you could have this stuff, but you can't have all the functions and everything that you want to have working. So this gave us complete function. Um, we have micro switches and everything. So in the door handles, there's a micro switch in here, um, which allows it to interface in with your system. Um, so it's, it's pretty amazing. So I can control the whole car from our phone or a laptop or a, a iPad. Then you can get in the car, you can control everything from the Kenwood touchscreen. Um, and then you also have all of the mechanical buttons in the car. So you have window switches, door switches, seat switches. So you have really like three, three ways of accessing everything. Yeah, and it's, it really is, when you put the whole system together, it's, it's pretty cool. I have to say this, that we do some pretty cool things in this car. Definitely. So we've got a 20-circuit kit. Yes. So master cell behind the dash. Where's the front power cell? Uh, front power cell is up here, also too. Also behind the dash. Yep. And then the rear power cell is behind the power behind cells the back here. Right there. Yep. And there's two, two in motions. Two, two in motions seats. are up here. Okay, so the in motions are covering power windows. Yep. And then we're doing all the features in the seats are being controlled off in motion. Definitely. And what yep. else do we have? We've got in motion. We've got two the, in motions, right? Yep. We also have environment because we've got a Gen yep. 4 from Vintage. So we've got the environment. You also have a separate computer you made just for the steering column. Right. We did do some custom work to do yeah. the tilt telescope on this. Yep. I think the important part is this is all standard off the shelf hardware for us. Oh, yeah. For Infinity yep. Box that we've tailored specific to this car. Yeah, I mean, it was very. Uh, I wouldn't say basic, but it was very easy to follow along and install. Um, so it uh, it was very spelled out for you. You just, it's just. I think the hardest part of the whole system was finding room for where you want to have stuff to access it and stuff. And uh, I, that's with anything. So right. especially in a car this size, now you yeah. want to make this car bigger, but there's still a lot. Yeah, in this. yeah. You get a lot of stuff packed in there. So, so. let's do this. Let's let's um, get out the iPad. Let's walk around the car and let's show off some of the things that we're doing within TouchNet in the car. Okay, okay. sounds good. Okay, so Scott, we're back in front of the car. Yep. And I've got an iPad here in my hand. Yep. In this car, you've got our InTouchNet product. And InTouchNet is pretty unique because it lets you control the car really from any smart device. So yep. in this case, we're looking at an iPad. You've sure. got a Kenwood DNN 992 yep. in the dash, and also the owner of the car can control it from his phone. Correct. So right here off the iPad, I'm going to let you grab that button right there so we can control the parking lights. So we turn the parking lights on first, yep, the, and then yep. the headlights, and we can actually work on the lights like this, which you never ever had access to do. That is pretty so cool. It's so it's pretty neat. Also, if you were doing the headlights, the high beams, the interior lights. Yep. So we can also lights. hit the high beams, light them up in the grill. So now it's like a daytime running light, uh, which is pretty amazing to do. Or you can go right back to rolling these lights right over, turning them off. Awesome. So.
What else are you controlling from InTouchNet? Uh, from InTouchNet, we're also controlling all of the door functions. So windows up, windows down. Uh, we pop the doors open. Um, uh, we do all of the seat functions from this. Um, uh, AC is all done from this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the heated seats, the fans in the seats. Uh, so there's a lot being controlled uh, by this in touch. So let me ask this question. So you've delivered a level of functionality to your customer. Yes. So he's got, like you said, C7 technology in yep. a 66. How would, it, how would you have done this otherwise? I don't think we could have done this otherwise. Uh, you would have had to have banks of relays and try to come up with some sort of remote system. It, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I don't think there's a way to do it. Um, you wouldn't have the space. Uh, just, I don't think you could do it. So. And do you think this really sets this car apart? Or oh. I know there's a lot that sets this car apart. But uh, this is one of the key features. Everyone loves the fact that you can come up and roll the headlights on and off, open the doors, drop the windows. Uh, when I had judges looking at the car uh, in Detroit when we were going f you know, for the grade eight, I could actually move the seats forward from outside the car so they had access to look behind stuff. That's that cool. was a pretty good uh, thing for them. They, they saw how it was working. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature. So, That's really yep. So Scott, let me ask you this. I mean, you guys do a lot. Right? Yep. How does a product like ours help you set yourself apart as a shop in terms of what you can offer to your customers? Uh, the customers really like the versatility that we can offer with this. Not only the security that the system has, but being able to add functions or, or uh, you know, operate things in a unique way. Um, it really makes their vehicle different than everybody else at a car show, or if they're using it on a daily basis, it just makes it that much easier to use. So it doesn't have to be a Riddler contender? It does not have to be a Riddler contender. It could be a, just an everyday uh, normal muscle car build or something that this would be a great addition to. Um, we're even doing a commercial vehicle where uh, we'll be installing this, this system. So That's awesome. Yep. So where are you headed from here? Uh, from here we go to uh, Cleveland. Uh, Piston Power Show, and then we do Boston World of Wheels, and then we go home and get some sleep. Good for you guys. And then uh, we'll start looking at the summer for this. So. Right. Yep. So if folks want to learn more about the Auto Shop, where do they go? Uh, the Auto Shop VT dot com. Awesome. Well, Scott, congratulations! It's a tremendous win for you and Great. the team. Great. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions about our Infinity Box system, you can reach us at www.infinitybox.com or 847-232-1991. Thanks a lot. Take care.